Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. It is kind of bittersweet when I say this is our final episode, episode number 56 of our Dragon Age Origins playthrough. We have already beaten the main game, almost all of the DLCs, the expansion, Awakening, and now we have one final thing that I want to do in this playthrough. So if we go to other campaigns over here, you will see there is a standalone DLC called Witch Hunt. This canonically takes place approximately a year after the main story of Dragon Age Origins, so after Awakening as well, which takes place six months after the main game. So this is essentially the very final thing that happens in the Dragon Age Origins games. And it sees us chase after our good friend Morrigan. And I'm very, very excited to be checking this out with you guys. I haven't played this since it first launched over 10 years ago. So I have to be honest, I barely remember anything about this. So this will be uh, basically a brand new playthrough for me. So here we go. Let's get started with Witch Hunt. So we get to import Talon, which is good. Um, why do I have two Talons? I guess one is the Talon from... Origins and the other is the Talon from Awakening, which should be the exact same Talon. Uh, yeah, the, it, it should be the exact same Talon. I mean, the Talon from Awakening would be a higher level, so I guess we'll... This looks to be the Talon from Awakening, so we'll import him. Flemeth once told me that temptation lies in the Forbidden. Do not follow me, I said. Yet you search even so. Some doors should never be reopened. I'm glad Muffin's here with us. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> That's actually one of the dialogues. I'm glad you're here. I couldn't do this alone. <laughs> don't worry. Um, uh, I don't want to say you'll help me get the child back. I'm just going to say we'll find more. No, actually, I'm just going to say let's go. <laughs> a very neutral phrase, because I don't really know how I feel about any of this. If you guys remember, if you need a refresher, I... Uh, had some sexy times with Morgan and actually fathered a demon child with her. She took that child and ran off, and we have not seen her since. Since then, of course, we've saved Ferelden, saved Amaranthine, uh, been the warden commander for a little bit. It looks like after we, we saved Amaranthine, we went on a little journey to find Morgan. So, let's, yeah, let's just say let's go. All right. Please enter a name for the dog. Well, it's Muffin, of course. This is this is the Muffin from before, right? Continuity. So there's our new quest in search of Morgan. The scouts you stationed to watch Flemeth's hut have sighted a mysterious woman lurking about the area. Go to Flemeth's hut in the Corkery Wilds to investigate this. All right, Muffin. Just me and you. Let's go see if my baby mama's in her hut. Also, does Liliana know about the demon child? I, I think that's still unclear. <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? Oh, that's not Morgan. Not another step. What are you doing here? Call off your hound. Not until you tell me what you're doing here. I believe I asked you first. Ugh. Fine. I am Ariane of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. I'm tal- uh... I'll say why. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. Oh, you're the looking for Morrigan, too. For my clan. Has she earned your ire as well? She's a friend, and I'm concerned for her. A friend? Of all the words associated with the Witch of the Wilds, those are the last I expected. Perhaps you can reason with her then. Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. 
We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had, all legacy of our ancient magics were stripped from us. First by the Tevinter Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan took what little was left. What's so special about this book? For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers. A shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost, save perhaps to Morrigan. How do you know Morrigan stole it? One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship, and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. The Keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. So what now? Help me. We both want Morrigan, and we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed from my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. They have to let me in. I'm a great warden. Masirinus, I look forward to working with you. <laughs> Muffin too, I hope. Alright, so it looks like Ariane has joined the party. Cool, and uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna head to the Circle's library now. Right, all right. Oh shit, outside there are darkspawn, what the heck? I thought I chased all of you off, why are you here? Well then, that was an unexpected surprise. Huh. Any clues on their body? Wow, he died in quite the dramatic pose. No clues though, just random darkspawn, I guess. I guess they are still around. We didn't eradicate them, we just kind of scared them away. Alright, so we're going from Flemeth's hut all the way up to the Circle Tower. Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Please, keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? Ariane, let me handle this. Whatever reasons I may have to dislike this place and your people, I swear we are here only for research. As you say, the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. Okay, so they remember me. See, That's good. That makes it things easier. Things are much changed from when you were last here. Uh, where's Gregoire? Gregor is in Denerim, attending to some important business. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. I need to go to the library. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. Awesome. Well, that was easy. I see why easy. Solon did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. All right, let's relax and let's just go find this book, shall we? They've nicely let us in here without issue. All right, all right. Can't open that. All the doors are locked. No, this one's not locked. Can I get you a ladder? Anything in here? So you can get off my back. Apparently, he once took on a lady pirate and three greased nugs between the sheets. <laughs> wow. No. This gossip. About it later. <laughs> okay. I guess they don't know I'm standing right here. Jeez Louise. Um. <laughs> Awkward! I was not. Oh, all right. A little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. You think I need to relax? Well, maybe. <laughs> okay, apparently she can talk to Muffin, so that's good, I guess. Oh my god, look who it is! It's Sandal! Enjumpment? Sandal, what are you doing here? Enjumpment! <laughs> Hello, doggy. Muffin remembers Sandal. Tower for a while. 
The Tranquil are evaluating his enchanting abilities and learning a lot from him, surprisingly. Enchantment! Yes. Where's Bodan? Bodan is trading in Redcliffe. If you're interested in his goods, I believe Sandal has some of them to offer you. I want to just ask more about Sandal. Okay, well, good to see you. Glad to know he's doing well. Remember the last time we saw him was in Denerim, surrounded by about 50 dead Darkspawn. <laughs> Which was wild. Alright then. Moving on. It's nice to see a fl familiar face already. Good to see Sandal's doing well. Sweet Look little Sandal. Books. I've never seen so many. It is a lot of books. That's for sure. Last time I was here, this place was completely overrun by demons, so... I wish I had one. They should have didn't really get to appreciate the books. Where is this index? Right here? Index? Yeah, index. T to Z. All right, all right. This is an index of books sorted alphabetically from T to Z. Um, maybe translating elven languages? This book is in the history section. What about Waking Nightmares and True Torment? Sounds like a light read. This book is in the School of Entropy section. What about Under the Bridge? This book is in the Mythical Creatures section. And Virulent Walking Bomb, the new edition, is in the School of Spirit section. Oh god, okay. Hang on, what book are we even looking for? Because there's so many indexes. Ready when you are. That's not helpful. What? <laughs> Search through the Circles Library to see if you can find anything on Alluvian. It's Elven, so books on related topics would be a good start. Okay, so we want that Elven book. Translating Elven Languages is in the History section. Do we know- where is the History section? Do we know? Back here, I guess? Okay, looks like the History section is over here. We want translating Elven Languages. Based on a collection of research, this work explores the translating of various Elven dialects. That's it? So that didn't help me? Any of these other ones? Of Hammers and Witches, a history? This ancient Orlesian text dates from the Chantry's early days. Time and dust has weathered most of the ink, but from what you can make out, it covers a war on the heretics of the Old Imperium. Faded depictions of men in robes tremble before figures bearing an ominous symbol of a black eye in a sunburst. What about Forticum Kadab? It's a translated text of an ancient Tevinter treaty. Okay, so nothing here is what we're looking for. Back to the index. Okay, let's do index A to F. Um, a catalog of elven relics sounds good. It's in the Mysterious Artifacts section. Alright, let's check that out. Psst, you, Howd. You think you could sneak up on the mage over there? <laughs> How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? <laughs> oh, lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. <laughs> Warden, your dog is lecturing me again. Okay, here's the Mysterious Artifacts all section. Right, right. We're looking for a catalog of elven relics. This book is written in an ancient dialect you cannot read. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. Is this like the book you lost? Similar. The bindings are in the same style, but the script is different. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. Well, funny you say that, because we already found the Translating Elven Languages book back here in the History section. I don't even need to go back to the Index. Translating Elven Languages. This should help you translate the Elven text. Let's take the book. Okay, and now I go back to the other book? Why didn't we just take it with us? I don't know. Whatever. There we go. Um, catalog of Elven Relics. Using the translation book, you locate a chapter on Alluvian. Whoa, who let a dog in here? And what are you doing? Be careful! Leave my dog alone! That's right, Muffin, I'll stand up for you. Alright, he could probably, uh, eat my face, but- I never heard of a no dogs allowed in the doing? library rule. You're bending the book too much. It'll, it'll crack the spine and cause the pages to fall out. Just thinking about it is 
making me dizzy. Are you familiar with this book? I've used it, but I don't know it by heart. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Illuvians. No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Illuvian is? It's old elvish for seeing glass. Mirror. What else do you know about this? Illuvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. Does that sound right to you, Ariane? Solon thought Illuvian was a place. Hmm. My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared, the other became deathly ill. They never found the one, and the other died. They left Ferelden and traveled north to forget their sorrows. What about the mirror? Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn, beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. Ooh. We have to get to the repository. Look at Muffin hopping around. Woo, so key. exciting. Come on. Okay, I guess this guy has joined us now. What? What is your name? Finn. Okay, cool. Welcome to the party, Finn. Let's go talk to Hadley. He was uh, back by our enchantment friend last Look, I saw. Finn, he fetched me a flower. <coughs> oh, how thoughtful. Muffin, where did you it's find a flower pretty. in the library Flowers. to fetch for Ariane? <laughs> very sweet of you, but... You should just tell him to fetch a Morrigan. It would save us a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay. Hey, Hadley, we're back. Hadley, just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? I'm always here. <laughs> Good one. So I am. Um, I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh. Well then. The. Uh... Sorry for bothering you. What happened to them? Unfortunately, we are still not sure yet. The repository isn't crucial to the daily functioning of the Circle, so we've left it until we can spare more men. Uh, okay. I'll help with this. Oh. Very well. It's your next. But before you go, what's so important down there? The statue. It knows things about Tavinta, and I need to speak to it. All right. Be careful and keep the mess to a minimum. I like you Hadley. To an He's a reasonable guy. Insanity. Not when it talks back. <laughs> Do you think the statue talks to you? It's complicated. It wasn't always a statue. You'll see. All right. You have my interest. Excited to go see this statue. All right. Into the Mage Tower basement it is. Aha! Here are the Sentinels. So these guys are supposed to protect the artifacts down here. But something has corrupted them, I guess? Interesting. We have to deal with this. Oh, there's literally a tear in the veil! Classic. Has some mage been practicing blood magic in the basement? And these sentinels are going back to normal. We need to deal with the rest of the rips in the veil if we can. Sigh. All right. Now, this is the statue we're looking for. The prison is breached. I see the incredible. It really does talk darkness. back. Wow. It does talk. That's what I'm saying. Hello? The, the shadow will consume all. It seems afraid. Something is causing it distress. The tears in the veil, most likely. The statue's useless until we mend the veil. More tasks. All right, mending the veil. I've done that a few times in my day. Let's get to it. I guess we'll just run around the basement and uh, see if we can find some more veil tears. 
while the Sentinels try to stop us, because they're being corrupted by Veil Tears. I mean, at least it's not gross Darkspawn this time. I'll take these cool-looking knights. There goes another Veil Tear. I don't know how many there are, but that's two. I guess wherever there are corrupted Sentinels, there's a Veil Tear as well. But, I mean, that logic checks out. Here's another one. I don't know how I'm physically attacking a Veil Tear, but it seems to close them, so... I guess it's working. Muffin, bite it! <laughs> it's really nice to have Muffin in the party. We didn't get to spend a whole bunch of time with Muffin in Origins, just because... As much as I loved her, I wanted the other companions in my party, you know? Go fetch! Shoot! <laughs> You have to give him something. You can't just say fetch and expect him to retrieve random things. Why not? Once heard of someone with a really smart Mabari who would run off and fetch things like... like cake. I think this one's broken. Don't say Muffin's broken, Finn. She's perfect just the way she is. Clearly, you've never had a pet before. All right, all the Veil Tears are closed. Talon is still struggling with steps. All's well that ends well, and we're back to chat with the statue. I am the spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and... Advisor to Archon Valerius, blah, blah, fall of the house. Yes, yes, we've been through that. Finn, <laughs> greetings. You two have a close relationship? We've conversed before on the Imperium. It's hard to get answers out of it. Requires passing all the grandiose mumbo-jumbo. We know where a broken Illuvian lies. Can it still be used to find the others? Scry, the broken glass, dagger sharp, will be your key. Scry? The lights of Arlethan will illuminate the Scryer's path. The Archons possessed them, but they were misused. Befouled and lost, like so much the Imperium touched. Some were saved, carried by fugitives from the Elven city. Their sorrow awoke the stone, and her children sheltered them. They found a sanctuary in the deep halls of Kad Halash, now known as Kadash. There the lights of Arlathan lie. Shielded from unworthy eyes. The deep halls of Kadash. We have to get there. She mentioned the children of the stone. I had not realized that Durginlin once aided my people when they fled. Deep halls of Kadalash. Must mean a dwarven tyke. Goodbye, Finn. We will not speak again. What? What's that supposed to mean? I, I exactly what she said, I guess. Y'all won't be chatting again. But okay. I guess we're done here. We've got a lead. So I guess we're uh, probably headed to Orzammar. Trying to find the Taig of Kadash, wherever that is. I'm assuming it's been lost like most of the other Taigs. I'll get on it. This is good. We have a lead. Why can't got I go it. through this door? No? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, mage, tell us what's going on. Uh, the Finn, Illuvians you're not looking so good. Oh, there you go. If you have Back one, you can find the others, if they still exist. But the one you know of is broken and corrupted, so we need something else to amplify the magic. The lights of Arlathan. Yes. How will this help us find Morrigan? Morrigan is interested in the Alluvians. We find them. We find her. Let me come with you. I can help. Please. I thought the mirrors were all destroyed. I can't pass up this chance at actually finding one. If Hadley agrees to it. I had permission to leave the tower to continue my research some time ago. But I never had the opportunity till now. I guess there's always a first time, huh? I'm sure I have a map to Kadash tag somewhere in my books. I'll find it on the road. Wow. Finn's very first trip outside the circle. This should be interesting. All right, let's get out of here. 
Avian. Does your name mean anything in Elven? Blessed creators, why does everyone ask that of people from other cultures? Oh, I didn't mean... What about you? Are you named after an honorable fish's appendage? <laughs> well, um, Florian Phineas Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire was a bit of a mouthful. And I was tired of the other apprentices calling me Flora. That is a bit of a mouthful, Finn. Quite the name you got there. Maybe I'll start calling you Flora. Alright, let's say goodbye to the circle. And head to... We got two options right now. Elven Ruins and Kadash Taig. Is it Kadash Taig where we need to go? Oh, we also need to attain a shard of the broken alluvian. Then we need to find the lights. Okay, so maybe we should get the shard first. And then take it to the lights, which will purify it. Yeah, okay. Let's let's get the Shard of the Mirror first, the Elven Ruins. This old ruin sits in a clearing deep in the wilds of Ferelden. Few travelers venture to the ruin as Darkspawn and werewolves have infested the woods surrounding it. Lovely. Why do we go to all of the best spots in Ferelden? All the best vacation spots. These are the ruins. The broken alluvian should be around here. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's take you a look. You don't seem to be that pleased to be out of the tower, Finn. I thought most mages wanted to be free. Why? Just to be outside? Do you see this splotch here on my robe? That's mud. There's no mud in the tower. <laughs> I miss being cozy and dry. Being cozy and dry is certainly nice. Uh, here's a corpse. All right, all right. Your hound seems particularly interested in this landmark. What? Why? Does it give it a scent or something? Maybe we can follow. Now is better than later. Oh, here are some infected elves. What do you mean infected? Infected with what? That's concerning. Is it contagious? You don't think it's contagious, do you? My thoughts exactly, Finn. Got some more elves back here. That guy's named the Infected Key Master. Does that mean he is the master of keys? His name seems to imply so. Just we'll have to go catch him when we're done with these guys. Come back here, Key Master! I want your key! Alright, looks like this guy was in fact a literal key master, because he had an old bronze key on him. So, let's see what that can unlock for us. Looks like the key might open this door, which according to the minimap seems to be where we need to go. Ah yes, that looks very plot questy. I think this is the broken mirror. I can't believe this is one of the Illuvians. It's magnificent. And Broken. We knew it Mostly was going to be broken, broken when we, we came have the here. Shot of the Illuvian, but we still need the lights of our Lathen. We should head to Kadash Tide when you're ready to leave. All right, sounds good. Well, that was pretty easy as far as uh, fetch quests go in Dragon Age. Didn't have too much resistance. Well, you've never been outdoors till now. I have been, but just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. <laughs> there was. Dirt. During my apprenticeship, <laughs> I love Finn. What a funny character. Once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what feels fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested mage flesh. Well, when you put it that way. Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. Finally found him a week later. We stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> that mage, Anders, never stopped trying to Hey, escape, Anders! No way! We know Anders. Fellow Grey Warden, in fact. Interesting connection there. Alright, so we are going all the way to the other side of the country now, to the Kadash Taig, which lies far beneath the earth, nestled somewhere in the labyrinthine deep roads. Wow, we made it here real quick. I love it. Hard 
God, hard to breathe with all this stone around me. I, I hope this is all in my head. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Taig? The Circle's map seem to think so. Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and? And I came across this footnote. Apparently, the elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. So, the lights of Arlathan are under this enchantment? That's my hypothesis. But they might just be buried in the ground, too. Actually, that's very likely. It looks like Kadash Taig was built on the ruins of Katalash. The lights of Arlathan could be miles below us. I liked the other theory more. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane, we need your blood. Excuse me? Just a few drops, that's it. Ariane, please... No, actually, I'll say, is this blood magic? Um, blood doesn't power the spell, it's just a component. It's certainly a gray area, so let's just keep this between the three of us, shall we? <laughs> Four of us. That's right, Muffin. You Don't let him exclude you. Elves, so you love me a good gray area. Might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll be gentle. Ah! My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. All right. Once Sounds we reach the me. influence of the lights of Arlathan, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. Okay, sounds like a ticket for us to just explore, which is always fun. Some dark spawn here, of course. Nothing goes better together than abandoned dwarven tigs and dark spawn. This carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. Like this, the landmark stone. Your hound seems particularly interested in this landmark. I thought you were interested for the dialogue. What do you want with it, Muffin? Well, <gasps> I guess he has to go Muffin! Be, be a lady! Oh my god. Okay, well, territory has been marked. On we go. Ah, look at that. Is this our first hiding spot? I think something's here. Sure is sick. So you can get off my back. Lights of our lap and lanterns. I didn't realize the statue was capable of being literal. All right, so we're looking for magical lanterns. That's one down. Uh, looks like three more to go. There are four in total. Let's see. Ah, light number two, protected again by ancient elven guardians. The ghosts are doing their job. so much why come with us couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves and the mirrors besides the company is good oh thanks, thanks. i met the dog oh Finn. <laughs> did we just get burned let me just get this again your name is florian phineas horatio aldebrandt esquire can't forget the esquire father insisted did your parents hate you no, they adore me. In fact, I'm sure my name is a result of overwhelming love replacing good sense. <laughs> oh, Finn, what a name. This is like playing hide and seek. Ah, there's the last lantern. Here it comes. A couple more guardians to defeat. You have, you have what we came for. <laughs> Of the Illuvian, I love how that battle ended and he immediately put his staff back and started talking to me. 
I saw a suitable place for the ritual not too far from here. Okay, well that's convenient. Do our scar- oh, literally right over there. Excellent. We don't even need to go far. Prepare yourself. The ritual may attract unwanted attention. Classic. You have to protect me. Even more classic. Video game trope. Someone needs to do the summoning ritual and you need to protect them while they're doing it. Alright, do your thing, man. Get Scry ready. away. Ah, demons. Get on. Let's see what you're made of. You're gonna regret this. Is that all of them? Oh. Oh. Am I bleeding? Oh, look, a rip in my robe. <laughs> Finn, what pull it together. Again, give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. Did the ritual work? I've pinpointed another Alluvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintus probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Alluvian's power. I've been to the Dragonbone Wastes. I saw no mirror. It might be hidden. Or only appear to those who know its location. Okay, what do we do when we're there? We examine the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Alluvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we? Sounds good. So the Dragonbone Waste, if you guys remember, is actually where the mother had her hideout uh, in Awakening. We went there and we actually slayed a high dragon the last time we were there. What do you call that which covers a tree? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was <laughs> that joke. That physically hurt me, Finn. Anyway, off to the dragon bone wastes. This DLC is really taking us to all, every corner of, of the country here. We're all the way up now in the north to the dragon bone wastes. This ancient graveyard where dragons once came to die is where an ancient alluvian is hidden. Ah, yes, I remember this place fondly. Like I said, last time we were here, we slayed a huge dragon, so. I don't know if there will be any more here this time, or if that was a one time thing. Eyes open for dragons and mirrors. Dragons and mirrors, got it. Oh, I found dragonlings! Got it. Dragon worshipper before? Not much for small talk, are they? Why would anyone worship a dragon? Dragons are big, powerful, and they breathe fire! Some people are easily impressed. <laughs> I mean, look, if you're gonna join join a cult, you may as well join a dragon cult, right? I feel like that's the coolest of the cults. Hey guys, how is it being in a dragon cult? Oh, now we got a drake, which is like a teenager dragon. I wonder if we're gonna get the full thing and get an adult at the end. I think this is the end of the area, if I remember correctly. This is where we fought the dragon last time. What do we have this time? Is What? Ew! Uh, of our terror? What? It can't be. They're only legends. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. Oh dear. Oh, I don't like the look to of this thing. Their people. Then why does it look like it's going to eat you? Dear God, we have to fight that. Dragon. Yes, we do. Oh, I- Oh, it has so many legs! Why are you here? I guess he doesn't want us getting at the Illuvian. You weren't here last time I was here. <laughs> You're a new arrival to the area, I see. Oh, and he's friends with the dragons, because now there's two dragons here. Awesome! Luckily, they were only the small dragons, not the big high dragons. We still got this guy to deal with. Oh. Nope, he's running away. And now we have to fight two more dragons. Down he goes! Oh god, that thing was gross. It's taken a long time to die, too. There we go. Alright. It's down. We got a codex entry about it, which I would like to read. 
According to Ariane, the elven gods created Varterals to guard the elves and their most treasured artifacts. They are so rare that even the Dalish believe they are only legends. The one you encountered was especially vicious, attacking even Ariane, one of the people it was created to protect. Why exactly is anyone's guess. Can we loot its corpse? No, we can't even loot its corpse. Okay, so I guess we're going inside? This is where the brood mother was holed up last time. I don't know what's gonna be in here now. The door says center of power, so I'm not sure what that means. It's still looking pretty gross in here from when the darkspawn were here. Guess they haven't had any cleaning crews here to uh, clean it out. <laughs> Ooh, that wasn't here last time. That must be the mirror we're looking for. And is that Morgan? I think it is. And it's glowing. We should. I think she's expecting you. Ask her about our book. <laughs> Hey, Muffin remembers her. That's cute. No further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. Hello to you too, Morgan. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it. And you will not be able to follow. Then why haven't you left if that's true? I remain to see if it was truly you. I had to know. Tell me, why did you come? We were friends once, Morgan. So you chase me all this way to offer help? I will never understand you, and you will never understand me. We helped each other even so. Yes, I suppose we did. I would not even know where to begin explaining. Tell me where the child is. He is safe, and beyond your reach. All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. That's not good enough. Because the child is yours. I understand. I will not share my plan with you. I dare not. If your trust is insufficient, then your anger will have to do. What is your plan? I want to know. My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Such preparation requires time and power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say, even to you. That is very vague and cryptic. So we have an option here to say, why did you betray me? But Morgan didn't betray me. She left before the battle, but... I don't think I'd call that betrayal. I'm just gonna say no more questions. Then allow me to provide you a warning. Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. So she's not hunt dead after all, hey? If you hunt anyone. I thought she was dead. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality. And yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage. No abomination. She is not even truly human. The ritual was but a means to an end. A herald for what is to come. That is so cryptic. What is gonna happen? Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes, Change is what they need most. Sometimes, change is what sets them free. That's not an answer. It is all I have to give. Ugh, that is so frustrating. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. Will I see you again? Not if you are fortunate. There is one last thing I must tell you. If you will allow me. I left you a gift. The Dalish book is there. 
and something you will find of great interest. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye? I don't know what you're doing or where you're going, and I'm a little bit worried, but... Goodbye, I guess. Trying to take care of the kid. Did you tell Liliana about that, by the way? No? Okay, good. Where does that even go? Looks like the present she left us was a book. We don't even get to know what was in the book? What? Oh, talk about a cliffhanger. There you have it, everyone. All that work just for a cryptic conversation with our friend Morgan. At least we know she's okay. And our kid is okay. But there you have it. That was the DLC called Witch Hunt. The final DLC for Dragon Age Origins. And with that, it's, it's very bittersweet. I can't believe this playthrough has come to an end. 56 episodes over 60 hours of gameplay. And here we are at the end of Dragon Age Origins. I did my best to do most, I know not all, but most of the content available in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, whether this was your first foray into the world of Dragon Age, or this was a revisit for you like it was for me. I do really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of the whole series down in that comment section below. Uh, and let me know if you would like me to do a playthrough of Dragon Age 2. I'm definitely considering it, but would love to hear your guys' thoughts. At the end of the day, I absolutely loved replaying Dragon Age Origins. It fully reminded and cemented in my mind why this was one of my favorite games of all time. Why this is one of my favorite games of all time. Brilliant world development, brilliant storytelling, great characters. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So from the bottom of my heart, for those of you guys who made it this far, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. And hopefully I will see you guys again real soon for another Let's Play series. Until then, take care.